let's integrate square root of x squared plus 4x plus 5. Uh, so the first step that I'm going to do is uh, completing the square. Uh, I'm going to look at x squared plus 4x. Okay, so if I look at x squared plus 4x, the last term has to be 4. So this is square root of x squared plus 4x plus 4. Now the way I got 4 is, I hope you know, is you have this num coefficient of x, which is 2, and then you square it. Okay, and then... 4 plus 1 is 5 dx. So this becomes integration of uh, square root of x plus 2 the whole squared plus 1 dx. Now I'm going to do a trig substitution because this form is a suitable form for trig substitution. So I'm going to let uh, uh, x plus 2 as tan theta. x plus 2 as tan theta. So, well, I can say x is equal to tan theta plus 2, tan theta minus 2. Now, integrating, uh, differentiating both sides with respect to theta, you can say dx by d theta. The differentiation of tan is 6 squared theta, and the differentiation of uh, minus 2 is a constant. So this implies dx is 6 squared, 6 squared theta d theta. Okay, so this is something that I'm going to substitute in this form. Okay, I also need, uh, later on, I need to substitute uh, ultimately in terms of x. So we are saying tan theta is x plus 2. So let us draw a right angle triangle. Let's draw a simple right angle triangle, which will be helpful later on. So using Soka Toa, using Soka Toa, if this is theta, we are saying tan theta is x plus 2. So tan theta is opposite or adjacent. So this is x plus 2 and adjacent is 1. Okay, and hypotenuse would be square root of this squared plus this squared. So your hypotenuse would be x plus 2 the whole squared plus 1, plus 1 squared, which is 1. Okay, so this is a right angle triangle. I've used just so Soka Okay, so now what will happen? So in place of x plus 2, I can put tan theta. In place of dx, I can put 6 squared theta d theta. So this becomes uh, integration. So from here, this whole thing changes to square root of uh, tan squared theta, tan squared theta plus 1 times 6 squared theta d theta. Okay, so this is equal to integration of 1 plus tan squared is 6 squared. So into square root of 6 squared theta times 6 squared theta d theta. Now square root of 6 squared becomes 6 theta and this is 6 squared theta. So this uh, ends up as integration of 6 cubed theta d theta. Now we can do uh, integration by parts. So let me write the formula of integration by parts. Uh, integration of u times v dash d theta is equal to u v minus integration of u dash v d theta. So this is the formula for integration by parts. So I'm going to let one as u and other as v dash, which is uh, the derivative. So I'm going to let, let, okay, so before that, I will have to write this as uh, therefore, uh, this implies, can I say sec cube theta, sec cube theta d theta is equal to integration of sec theta times sec squared theta d theta. Okay, I'm going to let the easy function as u and uh, the function which is easy to differentiate as 
u. So I know I can differentiate sec theta, and I know I can integrate sec squared theta. So I'm going to let, so let me do a substitution. So this is integration by part. So let u is equal to sec theta, and v dash, or the, which is a derivative function, is sec squared theta. So this implies, if you differentiate this, u prime, or u dash, is equal to sec theta integration. So differentiation of sec theta is sec theta tan theta. And integration, you have to integrate here. Here you're differentiating, here you're integrating. So v, which is a function, this is the gradient function, would be tan theta, because the differentiation of tan theta is sec squared theta. So the integration of sec squared is tan theta. OK, so this becomes, so now we can say this implies integration of sec cube theta d theta is equal to this. In, you can use this is the same as uh, integration of uh, using this formula, that is sec theta times sec squared theta d theta. So I'm, apply, I'm using this formula here. I'm using this formula here. So this is integration of u times v dash d theta. So this is your u, this is your u, and this is your v prime or v dash, which is equal to u times v. What is u? u is sec theta. Your v is ten, times tan theta minus integration of u dash. What is u dash? Sec theta tan theta. Sec theta tan theta times what? Uh, v. Okay, your v is, uh, your u dash is sec theta tan theta times v is again tan theta. Tan theta d theta. So let me uh, write this. I don't have space here. So I hope you can see this is tan theta, d theta. I'll write d theta here. So this implies integration of sec cube theta. I'll write, rewrite the whole thing is equal to sec theta times tan theta minus integration of te sec theta times tan theta times tan, tan theta is tan squared theta d theta. Okay, now tan squared is 1 plus tan squared is 6 squared. So this is, in place of tan theta, I can write 6 squared minus 1 minus integration of sec theta times 6 squared theta minus 1 d theta which is equal to sec theta times tan theta minus, expanding this, this is integration of sec cube theta, and minus and minus will become plus, uh, I'll write d theta here. OK, or let me write, this is sec cube theta minus sec theta d theta. So this is same sec theta tan theta minus integration of sec cube theta plus integration of sec theta d theta. So let me write, rewrite this. So this implies, so this is integration of sec cube theta d theta sec cube theta, d theta. OK, so you got sec cube theta here and sec cube theta, d theta here again. So this you can add to both sides. So this becomes 2 times integration of sec cube theta, d theta, is equal to sec theta times tan theta plus integration of sec theta, d theta. 
Now on the next page, I've sh uh, shown the integration of sec theta. Integration of sec theta is natural log of sec theta plus tan theta. I've gone the, let me delete this. Okay, so this is the integration. So you multiply by sec theta plus tan theta, uh, both to the numerator and denominator. So this becomes a numerator, and then you let the denominator as u. So the whole numerator becomes du. Okay, I hope you may be knowing this. So this is a good res uh, uh, result to remember. Integration of sec theta t theta is natural log of sec theta plus tan theta plus c. Okay, so let's go back. So here, in place of sec theta, we can write natural log of sec theta plus tan theta and divide the whole thing by 2. So this is integration of sec cube theta d theta is equal to, this is half times sec theta tan theta plus natural log of sec theta plus tan theta. plus the constant of integration. Okay, so now let's go back to the triangle. So I told you this triangle is going to be important. So tan theta from this we know is x plus 2. And from this triangle can we see it? sec theta is a reciprocal of cos. Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. So sec would be hypotenuse over adjacent. So sec theta would be square root of x plus 2 the whole squared plus 1 over 1 over 1 which is which doesn't make any difference so sec theta is square root of x plus 2 the whole squared plus 1 so in place of sec theta I'm going to put this and tan theta is x plus 2 so so you can say <laughs> therefore this is integration of sec cube theta because ultimately we need to write this in terms of x is equal to half times sec theta is square root of x plus 2 the whole square plus 1 plus tan theta sorry times tan theta times times x plus 2 plus natural log of sec theta again the same thing it is square root of x plus 2 the whole squared plus 1 plus x plus 2 plus c. So this is the, so you can say therefore, you can say integration of x squared plus 4x plus 5 dx is equal to this.